Hi guys, and today, I will be reviewing the Lee Huey M416 Blaster. This is my best video so far, and best review. It's also my second birthday video special. Aish. In the box, you get the blaster itself. You also get the handguard. As well as a suppressor for it. Then comes with a buffer too. And then a grip. And then you get an adjustable stock. And then a magazine for the blaster. And then an aim point adjustable scope. And then a laser which doesn't work for me. Then to pair of iron sights. And a charging cable for the battery. and a 7 for V battery. And then a glasses protector. And then 10 darts and shells, as well as a sling for the blaster. Lastly is the manual. To put the buffer tube into the blaster, you have to put the wires inside of it, then align with the blaster and twist it in place. Now connect the battery and put it in the buffer tube. Now connect the stock by holding the little button on the back. The stock is adjustable, so you can fit your preference.
To attach the handguard, you have to align it and twist it in. To attach the scope, simply loosen up the knob and slide it in the rail and tighten it back. Now attach the iron sights at both ends of the rail. Also, the suppressor is useless. It's just for design and I think reduces performance. To attach the grip, there's a little button on it. Hold it and slide it in the bottom rail. To attach the laser, you slide it in any side rail. I will show you how the protective glasses look like. It is purely made of plastic. Also, did you know that the rails are picotinny? Meaning you can put some more attachments on it. To shoot, you have to pull the charging handle, then pull the trigger. There are three shooting modes, which is the manual, semi-auto, and full auto.
This is what full auto looks like. Aye. This is what semi-auto looks like. When you remove the mag, it activates the coolest bolt cover. Time for the shells and darts. This is how you put the dart into the shell. Keep repeating this process until all are loaded. The shotgun darts also work, you just have to cut in order to fit. This is how you put the shell into the mag. Now let's test it out.
and it just got jammed. Underscore. Also did you know you can just do shell, ejection, it won't affect anything bad to the blaster, it's just another cool feature. Okay, so for the conclusion, this is worth getting IT because it has a lot of features, three shooting modes, a bunch of attachments, it's like the real gun, though jams are pretty normal so it's okay to get a jam. That's all I have to say like and subscribe for more videos, bye guys.